as you can see looking this way it's uh it's pretty hectic all the way through here there's a guy staring at me oh, oh. no thanks okay Whoa. too crazy that says west side and oh look at that rat someone got the car broken into recently welcome back to the channel folks another gorgeous afternoon out here in los angeles it's actually pretty hot today we're back in the 90 degree weather and we are going to take a cruise on the Suron, the favorite bike in my stable right now. I don't know what it is. It's just I always come back to it. That's some aggressive tagging right there, and kind of a kind of a little feature. Actually, semi-rideable, kind of cool. This is one of my favorite parts of LA. There is a lot of character in these alleys. We're going to be trying to check out quite a few alleys today. That's kind of the primary purpose. Get back to the alley cruising. It's been a while since we've done just that, so that's kind of what we're going to be doing today. This is uh, a pretty aggressive tag and you can see some whack outs right there. I, I don't know what this is actually saying. I see 18th Street and maybe and maybe an X and a C, BT right here. Barbed wire all over these alleys back here. I'm going to be trying to slow it down today and uh, try a little bit of a different format. Instead of just smashing everyone in the surround, we're going to take it real slow and uh, try and check out as much as we can in the, in the nooks and crannies of what's going on. More tagging right here. Uh, you know, right here in the smack dab of LA, downtown is right over this hill. Uh, it's crazy how much is going down out here, you know? We kind of see tagging like this all over the place, but uh, it is a reminder that if you're in LA, uh, this stuff is going on all around you. There's gangs everywhere in the city. So just a reminder, keep your eyes open. This field was open not too long ago. We were able to get into it from the other side. I wonder if we can hit it again. Looks like it's locked up this way. Last time it was open, it's because people were painting the wall. I think we're gonna have to forget about it for today. Anyways, try to hit this again. That's actually kind of fun. <laughs> Keep going on the Suron 2023. So it's not just me, a few of you guys have corroborated my thoughts that this bike has a little bit more punch to it than the previous one. I wanted to look at this wall too. That's actually, it looks kind of cool. It's just a bunch of random graffiti. Looks like, uh, I don't know, this could be anything, but this is what caught my eye. This is fresh. Let's get an up close look. This paint looks like it might, I could probably touch it and it might, it's definitely sticky. So it was either put up today or yesterday. That's how fresh it looks and feels. Anyways, first of many alleys we will be checking out today. Go ahead and get going. A little bit of trash right here. Let's actually take a look. We're gonna try and stop and actually observe as many things as we can today. Looks like someone took it upon themselves to break this for whatever reason. Looks like they used that thing right there as a matter of fact. Bunch of bags of, uh, looks like it could be walls, drywall, maybe ceiling. I'm probably breathing in tons of asbestos just chilling here right now. Pile of trash, we got a toilet <laughs> it's been tagged up. Okay, we're not gonna look any further than that. There's a, there's a gift inside the toilet. Someone left a, a little surprise. Other than that, bags of trash. These alleys in Westlake, uh, people love dumping in them. And I don't, even, I don't mean dumping is in number two, I mean dumping is in they come with their trash and they just leave it. A lot of graffiti right here. I'm actually interested in where this goes. It's funny how this piece of fence is knocked out. What happens if you go over this? Yeah, folks, I told you we're getting in it today. Oh, it goes into someone's backyard, it looks like. <laughs> Sound got me a little on edge. Very picturesque as always. Oh, oh, oh. We'll keep losing traction a little bit right there. That was the, that's the new Suron for you folks. This thing moves. All right, so that's alley number one. I'm actually gonna Zigzag a little bit on this side of this, uh, the block where I'm Beverly right now. We're gonna check out a couple more alleys out here and just side streets in general. Or just chilling on the sidewalk. See, I mentioned a couple times, I don't know if it's just a new Suron effect when these batteries are brand new, but when this thing's in sport mode, I just feel like it has much better acceleration than, uh, than uh, my older model. I know it's the exact same top speed because I measured it, but it just feels like it just gets going so much quicker. It's kind of crazy how much faster it feels actually. All right, we got two alleys, one on the left, one on the right. Check out the left one first. 
This one's actually pretty cleaned up. Last time I came down here was, must have been like four or five months ago. And it was tagged up all left and right. We still have some uh, strange, it look like hieroglyphic, almost. <laughs> hieroglyphic uh, characters. I can actually get through right there. That'd be kind of sick, but we're not gonna do that. Not yet. More random graffiti. As you can see, there's just kind of like uh, stuff everywhere on the walls out here. How you doing? So, this looks cool right here. This looks like it could be the entrance to a forest. And then you keep going. Lots of graffiti on these walls. This part's actually kind of sick. Wanted to go slow through there, but I also could not resist the urge to shred through it. So that puts us there. We're actually gonna turn around and go back down the same alley once again. And we're just getting started. We got a lot of alleys to check out today. We're gonna make it all the way to the middle of uh, MacArthur Park eventually. We're just taking it nice and easy for the time being. Looking at some of the, uh, you know, sketchy alleys Ooh. out here. Ooh. Oh man. Nothing like picking up some speed on the Suron. Oh yeah, we love that. Okay, so that's, there's that. Let's get around this Mercedes. And then check out the next alley in front of us. Oh. Wow, 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 wow. Never a dull moment on this bike, folks. Oh. Okay, not much going on here. A little bit of rugged terrain, but other than that, just from one side of the alley to the other. Let's see. Oh, here's this spot. Not much I could do here on the Suron, but maybe we can do a little bunny hop. DMX spot. <laughs> Suron free riding at its best. Out here. All right. It's kind of a hilly area of town. Luckily, we got a throttle to get us around right here. I think there's another, yeah, there is one more alley. We're checking out every single one we can find today. Pretty chill. Another phenomenon I always point out is that some alleys will be completely tagged up, and then other ones like this, almost nothing. I think that's, a, that's two things. One is that people who tag, they rarely just go away from home. And two, some people just don't stand for it. They will take it upon themselves to clean it up ASAP, paint over it. There's actually a really tragic story a few months ago. Damn, look at that broken glass. Someone got their car broken into recently. Uh, there was a tragic story a few months ago of some guy who got killed for painting over tagging. And it wasn't even his property or his job. He was just like, um, you know, I think he was hired by the, uh, the, the company or something or the, the store that the, the tagging was on the outside of to paint over it and uh they they drove by as he was painting over it and shot him super tragic story man absolutely horrific and uh just bad but uh that's you know that's one of the risks of uh, so i say that because the people who live out here it's probably a risk they have to take on just to paint over the crap that gets thrown up on their wall you know which sucks but yeah i don't know leave your comments down below what you guys think about that uh, if someone tagged up on your wall or alley or garage, would you paint over it? Or would you just let it stay up like our work? Pretty interesting uh, thing to consider, especially if you live out here. I mean, I haven't heard any stories, but that happened pretty far from where we're at right now. But, you know, it really could happen anywhere if you think about it. So, all right, actually, we're going to go this way. We have a hill climb we're going to do right quick. Max throttle hill climb, 53 kilometers per hour, not bad on the fully charged up 2023 Suron. What's that in uh, miles per hour? Someone do the conversion and comment it below. I have no idea. The street is notoriously hard to get across. My watch thinks we're outdoor cycling. We are not. All right. Off we go. Into the next portion of today's video, we're gonna hit uh, some alleys over by MacArthur Park, including one in particular 
which uh, is an alley that you should probably never ever go down. Nobody should. It is probably the sketchiest alley in the entire city as far as I know. I don't think there's one any worse than the one we're gonna check out today. We may not even go down it. We gotta peep it out first. <laughs> if it's too crazy, we might just skip it. But we sure will check it out. We definitely will be at least rolling by it to take a look. I can't lie, I feel like I would not wanna run out here, but it's also probably a lot of fun. The thing is, there's so many cars trying to get somewhere ASAP that it'd be uh, challenging as a runner. But then again, you know, who am I to judge? I ride a surround around like an idiot, so you never know. More tagging, we got WS, that says West Side something or other. I can't really see what the rest says, but. Oh, we got this guy, he's kind of on one. He's off a good one. What's up? Yup, he's off a good one. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured that was uh, something like that was going to go down. But, uh, you know, another day in LA, folks. Anyways, we were going to go that way, but now we're going to go this way. On route to one of my favorite places in Westlake, that's MacArthur Park. But, we're not actually going to MacArthur Park. We're going to hit some alleys that lead us sort of to there, but we're not exactly going straight there. Stay tuned to see the route we take. I'm actually kind of interested to see how it goes down myself. So we start off by crossing here. The first alley is up here on the left. My watch still telling me that I'm, I'm doing an outdoor cycle. I am not. Also, everything is green today, huh? Green shirt, green Apple Watch, green gloves, green Sauron. And I got the red shoes. I'm missing them all on that. Homie is out here in a straight up handkerchief, so that's what's something that's going on right now. Oh, uh, yeah. Another day in LA, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, we saw that, you know. We're gonna make this right up here on this alley safely. This is where our big alley cruise is going to begin. We're going to be taking it nice and easy like you guys always request. Check out what's going on. we got a shopping cart, mattress, pillow, a little bit of trash. Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, well, there's that. I thought that was her motorcycle. I don't think that's the case. Got a little bit of graffiti. I hear sirens going on crazy down the street. I don't know what that's about, but we will be making our way that direction. So we may find out. I don't know got a chair i wonder what the history of this chair is right it's probably seen more life than i have it's probably older than me but here it is in this alley out here in uh amongst a bunch of trash in la i was like here is sirens going on that way i think we're gonna start making our way down there and check it out we have a almost new mattress here you know what's funny is every time i come down this specific part right here there's trash and then there's almost no trash in the rest of the alley it's like they specifically don't like this one part Gotta roll through straight sewage in order to get my cover shot unlucky. Oh, man, a lot of flies. Otherwise, nothing out of the ordinary. A little bit of graffiti, 18th Street. Big old 18s everywhere you look. More mattresses, bed bugs galore. Oh my God, did you guys see how many flies just came out of there? I mean, who knows what's in there? Probably just, uh, take your guesses. How about that? How about you guys take your guesses in the comments down below? Let's see what you guys think was, uh, was in there that's the cause of all those flies. Got my feet kind of wet. Got a bunny hop of sewage, more trash. Trash galore, this is LA in a nutshell, folks. At least a city. Never any shortage of trash in the city. Uh, we got some folks in tents right here. Everyone's just trying to sneak through right here. So am I, more tents. All right, something was going down at MacArthur Park, which is up here on the right. I don't know if we're actually going to hit that alley. There's one main alley that I want to check out. We're going to at least stand at the front of it. I don't know if I'm actually going to go down it. These alleys are nasty, man. You might actually catch like... Dude, also, what the heck? This was not here last time we came through here. This is a whole structure they built. Wow. 
that's actually so common to see now they build entire structures that is the point of homelessness out here in la and that's one of those things it's like no one likes talking about homelessness but it's just it is just it is absolutely ubiquitous in la now I mean, like there's nothing more that anyone could say it's just it is what it is anyways this alley right in front of me is the one i was talking about let's see if we can at least take a look at it maybe i'll film it with my phone so yeah as you can see looking this way it's uh it's pretty hectic all the way through here there's a guy staring at me uh today's not the day to probably go check that out but anyways it's actually a little bit cleaner than it's looked in the past there's less a little bit less trash and less people anyways let's go ahead and keep it moving a lot of you know a lot of la things going on right here and bro it's tatted uh yeah i wonder if he's scared of getting his feet ran over i know i would be Alright, we're gonna try and get through. That was an alley. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't think uh considering the looks I was getting, you guys know usually I'm down for anything, but that was a little a little hectic. Get a quick tear through MacArthur. Oh love it. Not many places you can open up your sirloin in LA, so you gotta take advantage of the few that you can. Yo, I wonder if I can ride up that stair set. That'd be pretty sick. Let's give it a shot. Oh, nope. Dude, how sick is it that I did not get a flat tire right there either? This bike is just nuts, bro. The fact that I was even able to make it halfway and not get a flat, just absolutely slamming into a stair set kind of sick hey what's going on <laughs> yeah don't try that what i just did don't try that <laughs> i thought i was gonna get a flat but i didn't yeah oh yeah this this yeah yeah just to get around and off yeah thank you let's see where we're going Okay, well now we're in the park. Gonna try and do our best to avoid uh, people. Whoa, oh my God. Okay, that's one of the first times I've been able to fully pin it. I feel like this bike is a little bit faster. I don't know, it can't just be in my head. It's gotta be a little bit faster, I swear. Or maybe my older white B was starting to get some battery degradation or something. I don't know. But I swear this thing's a little quicker. Bro, you move so fast on this. The fact, by the time people see you, you're already like pretty much blowing by them. <sighs> okay, well. I did not want to do this, but we're going to pop on the curb. I always wonder what's through there. I'm not going to find out today. Okay, we're going to throw it in eco mode and just chill for a second, get through these vendors if we can. So, look, I'm not the only one on an E device. He's got the scoop. <laughs> Out of your haggling. That's right. That's price. He was not saying hi to me. I thought he was for a second. I was like, oh, okay, well. Crab walking through, taking it nice and easy. So, <laughs> before the influx of comments, every time they say, get off the sidewalk. Yes, I'm going literally like two miles an hour, dude. And I'm walking the bike. I could not be any more careful and it might look like I'm right next to people, but I'm not anywhere near anybody. Oh, dude, we have to ride through the sewage. I'd kind of rather do anything but that. Oh, we're stuck. We'll just give it a second before it's turned green. Actually, we can call it back up. You gotta know how to move out here, folks. <laughs> Riding through the city takes a certain type of, uh, you know, you just got to know how to move. I don't know how else to put it. You just got to know how to get around, spot routes, and... Oh, 
running. Somebody lost something. Nobody runs for no reason out here, really. Okay, here's the other side of that alley. We could probably go up in a little bit. There's probably so much disease and stuff back here. This is about as far as we're gonna go. Hey, yeah, yeah. LA for you folks. This is the modern state of uh, Los Angeles, at least downtown. I feel like everyone dishes LA super hard now, and I do too, because uh, this is not the city that uh, I grew up in. It's a little different, but this part out here that we're in right now is just a special type of screwed up out here. There's just no other way to put it. It is a special type of uh, messed up. All messed up, you could say. All right, well. MacArthur Park pulls. Here's the Duck Army. Chilling. <laughs> Mobbed up. <laughs> oh, if one of them starts flying, he might be in trouble. That's like a signal to the rest that uh, they're in danger. Anyways. Nothing crazy going on down here we're gonna cross and ugh, that's just how I ride in general you know I always no thanks I always assume I'm in the wrong even if I'm not it just makes life easier you know I don't know if I can make it up the stair set but I do want to try okay well now we know we can do that <laughs> I don't know if I've done that before, but I can't lie. I was uh, a little bit nerve-wracking. Okay. And that's stuff you can do with a Suron on stairs, folks, in case you didn't know. Hey, okay, matching shirt. From here, we will hop into the street. A little bit of uh, lane split action. All right, so far so good. This is actually my first ride on the Suron in a minute, so I'm kind of like getting my bearings back too. Uh, just getting comfortable riding around on the bike and stuff, chilling. We checked out all the alleys we wanted to, except for that main one. I really had a hunch that if we went down that alley, I was probably gonna get robbed. I got a pretty good sixth sense about when I'm probably gonna get robbed, and that's how I've been able to avoid getting robbed up until this point in my life. <laughs> So, you know, that's kind of uh, that's kind of something I try and keep my eye on is situations where I'm getting stared at. When I'm getting stared at real hard. I mean, that's pretty much a dead giveaway, right? I don't know, what do you guys think of the comments? If you're somewhere where, you know, you probably aren't supposed to be, well, I mean, I don't, I don't see that as a place I'm not supposed to be because it's a public alley, right? But, it's easy to say that no one would really go there without the purpose of buying drugs or doing drugs. And I'm not that. So, you know, what do you guys think? Can you tell when you're about to get robbed? Anyone who has been robbed before, leave your story in the comments. How did it go down? And how were you able to tell? We're gonna pop back on the sidewalk right here, nice and easy. Now there are a couple more alleys we can check out out here in Westlake, starting with this one right here. I rarely check this one out, so let's, uh, Let's hit it. Got some homies just chilling. Very clean alley, actually. Look at this right here. Let's take a gander. We started off saying we're going to check everything out, and then we just started speeding through. Looks like a car ran into this. You could actually... Oh, God. You could... Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh, oh dude. I just stepped in so much cheese. What the... Bro, why is there just a ton of cheese on the ground? I just stepped in it. Oh, luckily it didn't really get on my shoe. I was about to say I'm gonna smell like cheese all day. Bro, that is a bunch of cheese. If you are a psycho madman, you could jump this. Look, you could perfectly tire ride it. That's the old BMX thing is getting your tires on a real skinny piece of rail and riding on it. Uh, definitely not me, because there's a pretty low margin of error for that, but it is possible, or you could just piece, put a piece of wood and just send it over it. <laughs> the cheese, and there's some bread, someone can make a sandwich. That was probably the intention. <laughs> All 
party. Okay. Well, further we go. Kind of back the same way we just came. The street right there. A little bit more graffiti right here. Nothing too crazy. That says West Side something something. West Side. We're definitely on the West Side, folks. West Side of uh, LA. We're not on the West Side, West Side. I guess that'd be like the beach. Venice, Culver. This feels like New York City, kind of. It's definitely East Coast vibes. Parking lot with brick buildings around it. I like it. I came to see what this is, though. Looks like a little stair set, a little triple set. Oh, that's locked. Oh, <laughs> now we're stuck down here. Oh, we can go up this way. I need to figure out some new shoes for the Suron. These don't really cut it. Those boots I was wearing were like super overkill. So I ended up, I don't really wear them anymore because they're just kind of too much. But I need something that's like a little bit rugged but not like full on boots. I know a lot of people do wear full on motocross boots on their Suron Light B, but I feel like it's just kind of overkill for what I do. 90% steady riding and then, oh, look at that rat. Dude, there's a couple rats. Oh man. That's not uh that's something you usually see in the city, so I'm not even surprised. Oh dude, there's someone sleeping there. Oh my god, I was about to go and film the couch. It'd say, look, there's a free couch. Looks like there's a fire here very recently. That's all burned. The amount of disease out here is just probably off the charts. Just gotta be. Okay, we're gonna cruise down a sidewalk just for a hot second. We're gonna make a left on the next street. We just gotta get through this little corridor right here. I just really love riding in Westlake, man. It doesn't matter what bike I'm on. When I am out here, I am having a good time. There's just so much to see and do. And even though I'm, and sometimes I'm riding the same streets, but they just feel fresh every time. There's so much excitement in the streets out here and just stuff to do. And most importantly, the cops don't care about what you're doing in Westlake because there's uh, other problems going on. You can see all the food vendors just setting up. They'll be here all night. I always think to myself, the street vendors out here working hard, what am I doing, you know? They're out here for eight, 10 hours a day, every day, they don't miss a day. All right, wrapping up a pretty sick day. Can we get up in here? Oh, you can, but there's security right there. Go ahead and skip that for now. We are gonna bomb down the alley that we started on one more time. That's up here on the left. Let's hit it. <laughs> oh, oh man. You gotta do your best to spot what's going on ahead of you while you're moving at this speed. And there are alleys out here. It's pretty sketch, but it's so fun. I don't think I need to ever say this. Don't do anything you see me do. Hit the next one. Oh. Dude, this is like a jump. Holy crap. Oh, nice. Suron, it's still in one piece. Let's go. <laughs> still in one piece. We got one more. We're going to tear it through right here. All right, we're going to finish up where we started. This one's pretty smooth. And I always see cars coming out of it, so I'm gonna chill a little bit before we get over the peak. Oh, 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 oh boy! Yes, sir. Chills. Chills down my spine. All right, we're gonna wrap it up there. We had some fun today. Just getting back into it. Love it. I got this random stop sign. Pretty chill first day back on the Suron, folks. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button. Comment down below. Let me know you watched the whole video. Subscribe if you're new, and as always, Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one very soon. Peace out.